The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. If you thought going to the dentist for a root canal couldn't get more uncomfortable, think again. Experts are now calling on dentists to talk oral sex with their patients. Why? It's because of the link between mouth and throat cancers and the sexually transmitted HPV virus. We're joined by dentist Dr. Chris Stramberg to discuss because Dr. Stramberg, this is an important topic. And far too often it's been ignored, a little bit awkward, but what's your take now? People roll in the dentist and saying, well, what's your oral sex history? A yeah, awkward. I mean, imagine, you know, you sit down in the dental chair, oh, how's your brushing and flossing? By the way, how's your oral sex life going? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty that's awkward. awkward. It, it is that's awkward. It's a tough transition. It's right? a, it's a, Have you a worked tough it out yet? Yeah, I'm working on it a okay. little bit. Yeah. The problem is human papillomavirus um, is the number one cause of oral cancer. Mm -hmm. and it is a sexually transmitted disease. So we have to talk about it. And the more sexual partners you've had in terms of oral sex, the greater risk you have. So you as a dentist need to monitor more so, right? So if someone says, yeah, you know what, truth is, like Drew was telling me earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, your specialty, you're, you may be the first line as far as picking up a malignancy in the oral cavity. I mean, this you do screening, you're in there, you're, you're looking not just at the teeth, but, but the gums and the tongue, base of the tongue, tonsils, all that stuff. Yeah. And why wouldn't you go a step further and talk about what causes that in prevention? Definitely. I actually have identified oral cancer in a patient who had to get part of his tongue resected. Wow. And that was very, very tough. So the way I work it in is when I'm doing the exam, I say, you know, even though you don't use tobacco products, you can still get oral cancer because of HPV, which, you know, is a virus. And so we just kind of toss that in there that's gently. That's a good way to yeah, do it. Yeah, I, I like mean, that. But, but do you ask it? about symptoms? Would the patient have symptoms that you know, you'd want to know about, obviously, before you start this discussion. Yeah, or so sometimes, so the most common manifestation of HPV is actually a wart mm -hmm. in the mouth. We talk about it like this is a viral thing, right? So that's one way to segue. I think we need to talk about this first as patients get more comfortable discussing things like this. Mm -hmm. Then we can work in other things like chlamydia, syphilis, mm -hmm. and uh, herpes. Yeah. yeah. Those are all um, can be transferred sexually into the mouth. Herpes is not just a cold sore. Sometimes you'll get like a string of pimples on the roof of your mouth and patients will say, what is this? And I say, oh, it's a virus. And, oh, what kind of virus? Well, it's herpes virus. And then it's like, I have herpes. Yeah. And then that's very awkward. And dentists right, are not really trained to have this discussion. To, yeah. right, but, exactly. but what puts a person in a high risk category? You know, it really comes down to the number of partners or the number of mm -hmm. partners your partner has had. So wow. it's like, just it's think, kind of personal. It does. Think twice, I, yeah. I think, is what we need to introduce in the mindset of it. And how often you engage in oral sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the takeaway here also is that if you're going to see the dentist, you're thinking about, oh, I just want, I want clean teeth, I want to mm. feel good. But if you haven't had a good oral exam, talk to your dentist, talk to your oral hygienist, and don't be afraid. You, well, you know, don't be afraid to have the discussion. And, and on right. top of that, we're, we tie in more general health issues with good dental health and oral health all the time. Everyone remember, oral health connected to overall health. Dr. Stranberg, thank you, sir. Thank you, guys.